Hi folks and welcome back. Guess what? It's challenge time. So we got a challenge sent in to us on our web page here. So uh And what is that web page? Uh I don't know. Uglydoglures at gmail.com, I guess. The wife will be back in a minute and she'll tell you she wants to go get me some tea. So, so, uh, new entry form here, folks. You can do it. Actually, you can do it at our store, right, Chris? You set the store up. You and Melissa did. Yes, I did. So, explain to them how that works. Because I don't do computers and I don't do electronics. So explain to them how it all works now, buddy. So this is a challenge sent in to us by young Chris. Uh, maroon and gray. Gunmetal glitter. So uh, you know what? Let's make it happen. On this challenge, we're going to use a 1.5 square bill. And I know a lot of you have challenges in right now, and we have a lot filmed, and uh, we're like 30 challenges in, so just keep watching. Your challenges are coming, your musky lures, your pike lures, your grinch, all that stuff is coming. The walleye lures are coming. You just, We just got to get there. So i am always tried to keep myself at least 10 videos ahead in case something happens and I have to deploy or something so I always try to keep myself ahead so uh, we're gonna start with our burgundy unless I change my mind which I can do because I'm old and I can get away with crap like that I'll tell you what folks something I have discovered and some of you guys that are around my age that watch my videos, tell me, leave in the comments below what you think. The older I get, the more crap I can get away with with people. I have discovered this. Yes, I'd agree. Yeah. So. You can get away with twice as much as I can. Yes, I can, because I'm old and they think I'm senile. Well, you are, <laughs> but. So, uh. No, we're going to work on Mr. Hansen's challenge here, so uh, I think I'm going to start this bait with the true burgundy, or the gunmetal gray, and then go to the true burgundy. I changed my mind midstream there. So I have a vision in my head for this bait. So uh, let's just get our gunmetal gray mixed up. I love this gray. This is a beautiful gray. And it is a metallic gray. Y'all hear that? That's my wife's hot rod starting up. I swear to God, folks, she has the loudest truck in New Mexico. Pretty close. We was went to went off. Well, I hate to admit it, but I went to Walmart with her last night, only because I had an ulterior motive. But that's called get to go to supper, not have to cook. But we was out in the parking lot, and I've explained to y'all that I am crippled. And uh, I was parked there in the handicapped parking spot. And I was coming out of Walmart, and we got to the truck, and uh, we was parked like this, and there's another handicapped parking spot that parks a long ways, and we was parked on the angle one. And there was an old lady there, probably in her... Late 60s, early 70s, an older lady, I'm not going to say old, was sitting there and we got all our groceries unloaded and she was unloading hers and putting it in the back of her little car and my wife started that truck and that lady jumped about two foot in the freaking hair. Just, that bothered me. So, so. I had to get on to my wife about her loud pipes. 
me I can't hear them very well myself so they don't bother me all that much but they certainly seem to bother other people so on this bait we're going to be using our stencils so we're going to put that stencil up there this is going to be something different I ain't done one like this so y'all bear with me let's just see what happens here So we're just going to hang on to that and heat set it right quick. Then we'll jump in here and lay another coat on it. Clean our stencil and move on to our other side. So there's the start of our bait. Right there. So y'all just bear with me. None of this the dude done lost his mind stuff so i'm gonna clean this side and then we'll heat set that good and uh, we'll move on to our next side so chris have you figured out where i'm going with this yet no no so you will it'll be different don't know if anybody else will have one like it so that's a uniqueness about them. Well, this heat set that good. Because I'm afraid that Chris, you know, he probably beat a senior citizen up if I don't do what he asked me to. So. Man, how does that have to do with white? Everything. All right. Let's start laying it in here on this other side. Our second coat on it. Drop our stencil off and looky there. Just like the other side. Let's clean our stencil. We'll clean that airbrush out. We'll heat set all that real good. And we'll move on. I'll tell you what folks, I so enjoy doing these challenges. Makes me think. At my age, it's good to try to keep your mind fresh and everything moving. Uh-oh. Chris, you better quit knocking my stuff over, boy. I'm sorry. Pretty much one-of-a-kind lure, so that's the way I want to keep it. Now, we ain't going to need much of this burgundy. About that much. It was about 12 drops. A little bit of that thinner. Let's just reach up in here and Get us a good mix on that. Well, I guarantee you, I fish this bait, folks. This is going to be a pretty cool little bait, Mr. Hanson. Well, let's get our burgundy up in there. We don't need a whole lot of that. Let's, uh, let's cut our air pressure back down some. I got her down about 15 pounds now. We're going to start laying that up in there. Let's give it another few pounds. There we go. Now we're running at 18 pounds. Hey, that's looking pretty sharp there, Mr. Hanson. Get us some paint up on that nose. Just a little bit and let it 
fade county down to a lighter, lighter, lighter burgundy. Very good. Well, let's clean our brush, heat set that, throw some eyes on it, epoxy it, and get it hung up over there to dry. A little glitter in there and call it wonderful. All right. Let's pick us some eyes out here. Let me get my million dollar drawer eyes out here. Pick some eyes. Nope. Nope. Maybe. Nope. 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 Nah, 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 nah. Throw it on the floor, Chris. What about that eye, Chris? That eye. The second one looks good. One of these eyes. The top one would look pretty sharp in there. Okay, if you say so. You don't think so? It's not that I don't think so, I just don't know. Well, it's a, the one we're going to use. Trust an old man, son. Oh, I'm just laughing. Because keep, things keep falling. Yeah, I keep dropping stuff. I had not had no beer today, you can tell. Well, I think I heard Speedy Gonzalez pull back up with my drink. Yeah. There? Yeah, I love those eyes in that big Chris. Look at that, buddy. So let's get us some epoxy ready to go. So let's put some uh, gunmetal glitter in there. Just a little bit. Very pretty glitter this gunmetal is. Then we'll see if Chris can fish it. Okay, folks, here we go. Time for the peepoxy. Oh, Lord, we're being robbed. Oh, it's just the wife. She loves me. Sometimes. Well, she has to. She's married to you. I don't mean crap. She just married me for my stunning good looks. Glad to see those having faded over the years. Yeah, they have. Actually, I think she married me for my cooking ability. Mm hmm. If you want to know the truth, folks. I can actually stand behind that one. Chris even said he'd marry me for my cooking ability. <laughs> Damn. I never said that. Well, you know that it's very good. Oh, there's no denying that. In fact, we need to make jambalaya one of these days. Yep, that's on my to-do list. Tomorrow we're going to do T-bone steaks for little Miss 29-year-old's birthday tomorrow. Miss 29. He's not even a good liar. Well, I'm a better liar. I said yeah. 62. Yeah, and it's on film. So you got him. I'm not 62. He's not even 60 yet, and I'm younger than him. I just don't act as old as you. Well, there we go. I'm folks. younger than you. But you act older than me. There we go, folks. The Chris Hansen Challenge. Maroon and gray. I like that one. 1 1.5 square bill. We're going to hang it and dry it and put hooks on it. And we'll be back to finish this video then. Howdy, folks. We're back with the Chris Challenge. And we got her all finished up, dried up, and hooked up. You know, the whole nine yards. So here's what we come up with. That's a good looking bait. It's a 1.5 square bill. It's got uh, yellow lizard eyes in it. 
and it's got a mustad hooks so we got a white base burgundy gunmetal gray for the side and a gunmetal gray glitter this was a fun challenge that Chris sent in for us to do so there's Chris's lure so uh, remember to like subscribe and share to my channel hit that notification bell on there and that thumbs up y'all have a blessed week and I'll catch you later So if you folks want to submit a challenge to Ugly Dog Lures, go to our website at uglydoglures.com, hit challenge, and then submit your challenge there, fill out the form, and submit your challenge there.